So why is a car burning oil? So we're going to look at the problem of oil burning. You've probably noticed blue smoke coming out of the exhaust or a very strong smell of burnt oil from your engine. And we're going to look at the common areas that cause this problem where you will typically find weak spots or issues that need to be dealt with. And we'll discuss the overall problem of burning oil and what causes it and preventative steps that you can take. <laughs> So a car that's burning oil is really on a roller coaster to failure in the long term. As it burns the oil, the oil levels are dropping. The lubrication in the engine is so much worse because there's less oil in there to actually lubricate the engine. So your engine is working harder. It's going to get hotter. The oil is going to degrade more quickly. And with the extra wear and tear, the problem of burning oil is just going to get worse and worse and worse. So it really is an issue that needs to be addressed quite early on. So what causes burning of oil in the engine. Well, the obvious thing is that the oil is getting into the combustion chamber, which is not a place you actually want the oil to go. So we're talking about the engine oil here. If you're using diesel fuel, that's obviously an oil in itself, and you do want that to go into the combustion chambers. Um, but we're here talking about motor oil and the problems that happens when that gets inside the cylinders and starts to burn off and the problems that causes it. So one of the most common causes of burning oil is the piston ring seals. So the pistons are the bit that go up and down inside the cylinders and they don't completely fit the cylinders. So there's little rings that have been fitted at the top to provide an airtight seal. And if those start to wear, that airtight seal is somewhat degraded and there's a path there for the oil to start slipping by the cylinder where it's lubricating and get into the combustion chamber where it actually starts to burn off. The bottom ring on the piston with the wavy edge, it looks different to the other piston rings. That's actually called the oil control ring. And that is actually designed to mop up the oil as the piston goes up and down the cylinder and just ensure that the lubrication stays on the non-combustion side of the cylinder wherever the piston happens to be. So if over time that's got caked up, it's not able to perform its job as efficiently as possible. So perhaps one of the easiest and quickest fixes that people can do to a car that is burning oil is to run an engine oil flush through the engine to get rid of all of the gunk and particles that have become coked up in the oil control ring. And I've heard reports quite positively from people who've done this that have noted the compression ratio has increased just through using an engine oil flush. And it's also minimized or reduced the problem of burning oil. So if the issue of burning oil is located to the oil control ring on the engine, then perhaps one of the simplest things to try is just to put an engine flush through and see if that improves matters. The head gasket sits between the head of the engine and the top of the cylinder block. And it's designed to provide a seal between all the different chambers inside the engine. So you've got the oil chambers, the water chambers, and obviously the combustion chamber where the fuel and the air is being ignited and it's doing its thing. So if that gasket starts to break down, the oil could well start to seep through into other areas. The most common area is for the water to start seeping into the oil channel. So you will start to notice a mayonnaise type substance appearing under the filler cap on the oil and inside the oil. So the water doesn't mix very well and you get that typical mayonnaise deposit building up. So if that's the case, it could well be the head gasket that is the problem. And it's relatively easy to fix that. It's just removing the head, getting it skimmed, getting the new gasket fitted and getting it all clamped down and bolted down. So in the top of the engine as well, in the head, you've got the valves that open and close and allow the exhaust gases out of the engine and the intake charge into the engine. And they obviously need lubrication. So the stem that goes up into the head has typically got an oil seal around it to prevent the oil from breaking through and dripping down the valve itself into the engine where it will cause a problem. But if those seals have started to go, you may well start to get oil seeping through the valve stems onto the valves and into the combustion chamber where it can cause all sorts of problems. So it's quite tricky tracking down the source of burning oil because most of these issues are inside the engine. So the first step that most people would take is to get a compression test done. So that will physically test the amount of compression that you get on all of the cylinders in the engine. So if that shows one of the cylinders is down on compression, it's not able to compress as much air or as efficiently, that would imply there is a leak there. Now that leak could well be around the valve seats or it could be around the 
pistons or the piston rings themselves. It could be down to actual damage on the cylinder wall itself. So there's lots of causes for that, but it will at least get you looking in the right direction. If all of the cylinders are down on the compression, and the mileage has started to creep up, that could just indicate that the engine is subject to wear and tear and it's about due to be stripped down and it's going to need a rebuild. So oil consumption tests are often done as well by garages and this literally requires you to measure very precisely the amount of oil in the engine to drive for a set number of miles and then to measure the level again. And that'll determine whether your engine is consuming oil within tolerances or not. But if you've noticed blue smoke coming out of the exhaust, then chances are you don't even need to go to that step. You know that the engine is burning oil and you're probably already in the routine of topping off the oil just to make sure the level doesn't get too low. So a little camera on a scope can be quite good for getting inside the engine and just visually inspecting for damage on the cylinders around the pistons and inside the head itself. And that can be a lot cheaper than dismantling the engine and just help you to determine where the problem is most likely to be. But in most cases, if an engine is starting to burn oil and it's something that's associated with wear and tear, or abuse over the years, you really are looking at getting the engine stripped down. So that's a chance to start sourcing better quality components, maybe performance options can be added to the engine just to make sure you get a little bit more power and you won't feel quite as bad having to do all of that work, knowing that you've got the benefit of the enhanced performance that you'll be getting from that. So as most burning oil is caused by damage on the engine that happens through wear and tear, minimizing that wear and tear is obviously our best course to prevent the car from getting into a situation where it is burning oil. So bear in mind that during that warm up phase when the engine is cold, the pistons themselves and the rings are not fully bedded into the cylinder. The oil is not flowing as efficiently as it would do when the engine is warm. So the wear and tear on the engine is much, much higher during that warm-up process. So driving it hard will just cause so much more damage than driving it hard when everything has warmed up and it's got to the ideal tolerances and specs that the manufacturers have set on the engine. So with some engines, there is a pattern that forms. It's often the piston rings that fail or it's often the valve seals that fail. So doing a little bit of research online can actually help you to look in the right direction and you won't be wasting lots of money fixing lots of things that aren't necessarily the cause of your problem. So another area that can actually cause oil to leak into the cylinders and get into the combustion process is the turbocharger itself. So the turbo requires uh, lubrication because it's running at very, very high speeds. And if the seals inside the turbo actually break down, that oil can seep out of where you want it lubricating the turbo and get into the intake area where it causes all sorts of problems and damage inside the engine. And sometimes the damage that's caused when that oil gets into other areas can result in quite big bills and quite extensive other problems. So you really do want to diagnose where the oil is escaping from and the route it's taking and track down if any other damage has been caused along the line and make sure that that is fixed before you go back to regularly using the engine. So I hope this has helped you to identify the problem with burning oil, how the oil is getting into the engine, the main different routes that it will take through the gasket, through the valve seals, or past the piston rings into the combustion chamber itself. So I hope this video has been informative to you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so because we would love you to stay tuned. And if you can boot that like button, it really helps us to get out there. Really appreciate that. Thanks for watching.